I'm Dora Alice, the sexiest captain on the Paris-Miami flight. You like suspense? Well, you're invited to spend a delicious weekend with me. Fasten your seatbelts. We're ready for takeoff. Phew, what a trip. The guy who died in my arms... At least he enjoyed his last glimpse of the world. Okay, now I have to find the vial in the briefcase. until I find the vial in the briefcase. Let's see. He told me the combination was... ARG!
There's a space inside, and something in it. There it is. Now I just have to get in touch with the President and give it to him. This is Quantum Unlimited Laboratory. You want to speak with the President? I'm sorry, he's busy. service, miss. It's the key tag for a locker in the changing booths. It must have come off. Here's the key that goes with it. You can leave your clothes if you go to the pool. Good morning, Mr.
Miss Dora. Delighted to hear from you. I heard what happened in your plane. Poor old Fired. Fortunately, you have the vial. Above all, keep it somewhere safe. Don't carry it with you. I'll explain the whole business. Then we'll think things over. Come and meet me at my office. The entry code to the building is B8711. I'll plug the fridge in to cool off these drinks a little. Hello, Dora. Guess who's just in time to save you from an interminable evening with some clumsy, pretentious boar. I'm talking about Robert de la Cafetiere. Rob, what are you doing here? Well, I fly the old crate here from Mexico twice a week these days. Come down and have a drink at the pool. We'll talk. Hi, Dora, my darling little firefly. Haven't crashed your plane yet? Hmm, when will you marry me? No way, you old macho. Why should I make one man miserable when I can make a lot of men happy? Well, yeah. Don't worry. I adore you anyway. And do you love me? It's great, huh? Do you like it? Robert, you know Prisca. She's my chief hostess. But of course. I remember that garden party in Rio. Crazy. Hi, Prisca. Hi, Robert. Hey, Dora. Did you know I was asked about the death on the plane at the airport? A man in a wheelchair with a cat. What's all this about? Are you murdering your passengers these days? Oh, nothing serious. A heart attack. Carry on, Prisca. I'm listening. I managed to get this flashlight off him. At a pendant, I dropped somewhere around here. It's stupid. I can't find it anymore. Yes. What would you like to drink? Yes, a nice cup of Cuban coffee, thank you. There seems to be a microtransmitter. It looks damaged after its stay in the pool. Pity. I can't find out who was the receiver. That's what I need for my flashlight.
What are you doing now? Can I kidnap you? No, I have to do some shopping. This evening, if you like. I want to go to bed as late as possible to get over the jet lag. Okay, choose some lace underwear. You know what I like. I'm going to get some rest. Be in good shape later. Okay, meet you in the bar at 8. Yes, Miller speaking. Oh, Miss Dora. I'm glad you called back. I've just had an alarming call, and I must leave immediately. I've prepared some instructions for you. The reception people know you're coming. Oh, by the way, you'll need a secret code number to move around in here. Write this down and, and get here quickly. 258. Hey, broad, get your tits out of my face. I was having this great dream. Okay, it's the right one, but it's dark in there. A hook is holding the door open. Let's close it. Here's the cleaning lady's car. It's the right key, but the door is jammed. What a pain in the ass is brought. I can't even sleep in peace. This car really sucks. You have to give it a kick in the wheel. Just there. I'll do as he says. A kick in the tire to unjam the door.
magnetic card? Well, well. The key card isn't enough. Looks like you have to punch in a code number. So the body count is rising. Two deaths in 24 hours. Well, Sir Jeffrey Miller, somebody helped you on your way. Anyway, it's too late for small talk now. I have to find the information he left for me. Where could he have put it? Right. It's a solar dictaphone. It runs on the light from the desk lamp. Miss Dora, you're accidentally in possession of a sample of my most important invention. I've decided to give it to the government because I'm constantly threatened and in fear of my life. I must get out of the firing line before it's too late. Only three prototype vials exist but the formula can be obtained by analysis. One is with my son. I trust him completely. Fayard's sample is with you, but the third... But the third was stolen by that maniac Peter Hillgate, better known as Doc. He's probably synthesizing the product right now in his secret coconut grove laboratory hidden under a women's lingerie store. Go there, get in without being seen, and get it back. Only you can handle this mission. Then give the two vials to my son, Kenneth. You're my only hope. Here's the ladies' underwear store, the front for Doc's hideout. I can look round while I pretend to try stuff on. Would you like to try our different models? Go right ahead. Choose one of the three booths. Take this booth. I'll be with you in a second. Take your time. I'll look after the other customers. Yes, 
course, we have a wide range. Try some more. I'll be right back. I'm taking a big risk. If I get caught, my number's up. These mad scientists, they're all in love with themselves. Ooh, stairs going down to a secret room. Wow, an ultra-modern operating room, a secret laboratory. This is Doc's hideout. The QUL vials, they're here. I come for one and find two. Did Doc steal Miller Jr.'s? Treacherous Dragon. Operation successful. No scars. Hawaii, sunny. Balance payment transferred as agreed. 
Darling, I'm still waiting for you to come and put it in. The air conditioning, I mean, in this heat. It's a basic. I haven't heard from you since your birthday party two months ago. I'm starting to feel the strain. Doc, the patient was contacted just before the cleanup operation. We picked up a call coming from the Seagull Hotel. We're going to search. Is amputation necessary, boss? Awaiting the instructions. The Seagull Hotel. They're talking about me. Messages won't get through. Yo, Key isn't here, but you have a message. I thought I'd rest in your room. Harry, I'm waiting for you. sent you a package. I have the floor way to put it in your room. But what's been happening? A hurricane? Here's the vial. They must have left empty-handed. Oh no! Damn, it's broken. Rob must have drunk the contents. Wow, what a mixture. What kind of a state will he be in? Come on, Rob. Up you get, honey. Tell me what's been going on here. But he must be drugged. At least he's breathing. Snoring, even. No sign of injury. What can he have taken? Reception? My room has been searched, and my friend, Captain de la Cafetiere, has been, let's say, drugged. Can I call emergency? Immediately, miss. In fact, someone is asking for you. A police inspector. What's happening? Anything serious? No, don't worry. Have him wait. I'll be right there. Oh, wow. Here come the police now. I'd better be careful. Right. Let's go see this inspector. Hello, miss. I'm Inspector Pedro de Helgos. I'd like to question you about the death of Mr. Nichols. Her name is Fa. She is very cuddly. She has a black sister called me and a totally white brother who answers to the name of Sol.
Before his death, did Mr. Nichols give you any personal possession? Yes, he did. A briefcase. Good. Vials containing a dangerous substance have mysteriously disappeared, and I have the task of finding them before an unscrupulous band of racketeers get their hands on them. Do you have these vials in your care? Yes, I found one in the briefcase. Well, hand it over then. I'd like to, but a friend accidentally drank what was in it. Hmm. Okay. Can you tell me anything else that might help me? Mr. Nichols told me to deal only with Mr. Miller. I'm sorry, but we've just heard that Mr. Miller is dead. Oh, I see. I didn't know. Now that Miller's dead, you can help me, can't you? I'm sorry, but I prefer to deal directly with Mr. Miller's family. With his son, then? Well, as you wish, but I'm keeping an eye on you. I've just seen Captain de la Cafetier go past. He seemed in good shape for a sick man. He hurtled out here like a tiger in heat. Hey, Rob has disappeared. He's crazy, that de la Cafetier. Lou Dale speaking. Hello, Lou. My name's Doralis. I'm passing through Miami and I saw your photos in a magazine. I like your style, and I'd like to offer you a job. No problem. I'm free right now. Drop by and see me. I live in Miami Beach. My studio and my apartment are next to each other. This package comes from the lingerie store. That's strange. Is the owner in cahoots with Doc? A lapel pin. Like the one my visitors forgot in my room. A bill under the wiper. A little gift to prevent parking tickets. That's a crime boss's perk. Great! The key is dropped onto the photo folder. Now I just have to pull it back through.
Old tricks are the best. And that's that. And number three, here it goes, every man for himself. Oh, this damn poison smoke attacks the eyes, the nose, the throat. Oh, I feel so bad. Help. Number three, here it goes, every man for himself. Right, let's go see what the damage is. I did it, the guy is out of the way. He looked as if he was waiting, waiting for me, perhaps. Lou Dale is a prisoner in her room. Whew, she's alive. Now that he's out of the way, we can talk in peace. Who is this guy? I don't know him. But for some time, I've been getting threatening messages. I think my telephone line is under surveillance. I suppose you know the reason for this surveillance. Well, I'll tell you everything. Six months ago, I was contacted for an undercover job. I was supposed to seduce Kenneth Miller, the millionaire's son, to take his photo. It was tricky because he hates photographers. Once the mission was over, I wasn't supposed to see him anymore. But I continued for a while, discreetly. He certainly didn't mind. It was going well until, perhaps one month later, he suddenly disappeared. When he showed up again, he was weird. He didn't seem to recognize me. He avoided me. Perhaps he knew. Yeah, I suppose you insisted on seeing him again, not knowing it would be so dangerous. 
Are those the photos you took of him? Sure. How did you get them? At this guy called Doc's place. You know him? Yes, it's Peter Hillgate, an ex-surgeon who fixes up crooks. He doesn't let anyone take his picture either. Or rather, he has several known faces. So he's behind all this. Those photos must have been for a plastic surgery operation. Oh no, if Miller's mixed up in it, it must be big and highly dangerous. So where do you come into all this? When did you get involved? Oh, by pure coincidence. Well, I think Kenneth Miller is in great danger. They've already murdered his father. I have to warn him. Where can I find him? Recently, I've seen him hanging out every evening at a salsa joint in the Red Light District, the Red and Blue Club, always with the same girl, although that isn't like him. That club? Absolutely. Do you know it? Not yet, but it won't be long. Right. If you manage to get Kenneth out of his sweetheart's clutches, give him his signet ring. He left it at my place. Okay, I'll take it. Say, do you have any idea where I can hide these vials? I have to give them to Kenneth. I better hide them in case I'm searched. Let's see. Yes, these love eggs. There's space inside. No one will find them inside you, even searching very closely. But don't get too involved with any men. The Red and Blue Club. Will Kenneth be there? Better take care. Watch where you're stepping. No, baby. This club is members only. You can't come in without ID. Thanks. Just what I needed for my cash flow problems. Ah, you got the house pass. Okay, you can come in. You want to speak to me? Right, you've got two minutes. First of all, who are you? I'm a friend who wishes you well. I'm a very busy man. What do you want from me? I have some things to tell you, but not here. Somewhere quiet. Well, that's all very interesting. If you tell me more, I can choose the right place. Oh, somewhere where we can relax a little? I could use it. How can I trust you? This might be a trap. Supposing I were to tell you that I have QUL aphrodisiacs on me, yeah, well, that's not hard. QUL products are available worldwide. Sure, but these are very special ones, and I have certain talents of my own. Okay, you win. I'll take you home with me. But you'd better not be bluffing. Hey. We're in Coconut Grove, not far from the lingerie store I visited a while ago. Now, honey, I'd like a taste of your talents. 
You won't be disappointed, my angel. But first, I'd like to show you something. No way. You can show me afterwards. Unless it's a concealed beauty spot. Not exactly. But I think it will interest you, too. Taste these ginger chocolates with me, and we'll float off on a cloud of pure delight. Oh, so that's it. Promises of a whole new sensual experience. Well, it's a deal. We'll take our trip together. Phew. He's asleep. Those chocolates really were drugged. I'd better not taste them. Is his name Archie or Kenneth? There's no tattoo in the photos. So he's the one talking with the inspector. He's a cop. Or I don't understand anything anymore. Okay, what can I find around here to interest me? are dangerous. They're piranhas. Ooh, a pearl. And here's the prize. That's just the casket this pearl needs. Oh, a laser beam running from the pirate's eye to the statuettes. Ooh, that's an unusual key. This passage leads to a stairway. Well, here I go. Geronimo!
What happened? Oh, my! What hit me? Well, you wanted to play the private eye. You took Doc by surprise busting into his place like that. He'd surely have rubbed you out if I hadn't been on his trail. But I was able to act in time. Thank you, Inspector. Now, can I have the key to the story? I'll tell you what I found out later. There's one thing I don't understand. I found no trace of the vials at Doc's. Looks like somebody stole them from him. You have any ideas on that? Hmm. Yes, absolutely. I have them with me. You look surprised. Would you have searched me, Inspector? Secret hiding places exist, you know. Yes, well, we'll see about that. First, tell me what you were doing there. I found a passage while searching Kenneth Miller's house. Well, you're as curious as ever. I told you not to interfere. You almost ruined everything. From what I saw up there, the guy wasn't in very good shape. What did you do to him? I just put him to sleep. He was getting too cute. Tell me everything. You first. What have you found out? That Kenneth Miller was in cahoots with Doc. You're wrong. He's not the real Kenneth Miller. Really? Who is he? A guy called Archie. I didn't give him the vials. Right. You did well not to give in. At the moment, Doc and Archie are locked in a secret room here somewhere. You can trust me with the vials now. I have to go freshen up a little. Lend me your bathroom a few minutes so I can fix myself up. Then I'll join you. Right. I'll take the vials before he goes over me more intimately. Perhaps there's something in here I can use to gain time. Ooh, the pervert has a collection of women's underwear in a secret closet. But this lingerie comes from the store I visited before. Ah, this syringe is just what I need to fill the spray container with formalin. Now I have a deadly weapon. Let's go find our friend the inspector. 
Well, Doralis, we've wasted enough time. Give me the vials. That's it. Got him. And he walks perfectly. He's no more handicapped than I am. Now I'm sure. Pedro de Helgos and Peter Hillgate are the same man. Oh, a panel's opening above the organ. This wheel shows the signs of the Zodiac. I wouldn't be surprised if our cunning character has set the system for his birth date. Where have I heard about a birthday already? Let's have a look at the inscriptions on our friend the inspector's flashlight. This wheel shows the sign. Great! It's working now. I can play something. Well, I found the prisoner. Great. 
But now I'm trapped here in this room, too. I thought so. He's the real Kenneth Miller. Well done, Doralis, darling. So what did you think of this life-size murder party? We all thought you were wonderful. You did remarkably well. Let me explain. I've set up a role-playing games business with the... The actors here, and I wanted to try out the storyline before offering it to sensation seekers. Now you can have fun recognizing all the characters. I wonder when you realized that Doc and me were the same person. Good thing it wasn't really formalin in the jar. You were clever to think of wiping out the messages on the answering machine. I wonder when... A clever idea mixing those dangerous chemicals. But do you think you can really eliminate a man of my size with so little poison gas? Well, that's the game. My role was to give you information on all the objects you found along the way. You just had to think of showing them to me. I wanted money, of course. But I also needed to see the lapel pen before I let you through to meet the phony Kenneth. I admit, it wasn't easy to find it on the rug of your room after we'd searched it. You made a clever move with the drugged ginger chocolates. Pity we couldn't carry on our little game. But it wasn't in the script. You had to have the chance to search. It was amusing to watch you wandering around in the parking lot looking for a way into the offices, closing the closet door in the storeroom, finding the card and the entry code. That was good work. My role was to draw your attention to the inspector right from the start by giving you his flashlight with the notes of music engraved on it and the pendants that went with Kenneth's Archie's one. When I told you that Jeffrey Miller hadn't been into the office at all, it warned you something was wrong because you'd just spoken with him on the phone. That was to make you look for a way to get in. Hi, Doralis. Yes, I'm resurrected. It was easy to find my message at the office, wasn't it? The most difficult part was to understand that my son hadn't sold me out, that he'd been kidnapped and replaced. Me, I had to give you the sugar you needed to get rid of Cerberus at QUL reception. It was your only chance to get past. Thanks for saving me from the evil Vance, Dora. It was by using my photos of the real Kenneth Miller that Doc turned Archie into a phony Kenneth while the real one was locked up in this place where we are now. Not bad, the bell trick on the storeroom door. And the dog code to open this safe. It must have been a surprise for you to discover the passage between Kenneth's house 
and the operating room. Me? I was supposed to have drunk the vial's contents, a super powerful aphrodisiac that brought me Miami infamy as a mad rapist. Didn't you think that went a bit far? You made a...